okay so everybody so you have marked up your pattern on the back so for me you can see i use black lines because i just want you to see it clearly later on so for you you should only use color pencil to do this part okay so before you ink on the back do one thing take a recycle paper put inside your bag because um, sometimes the ink may penetrate through the bag to the other side and it will make dirty of it so it would better to protect it with a recycle paper so afterward um, you have your pattern shape ready and then you have your own stencil here then what you have to do is you have to place your fabric according to the lines that you have just marked up so you can see the lines here is in black so what you have to do is you have to merge this line fit with the inner line remember it's the inner line because the outer line is just i extend it to protect the ink from moving to the other side so you to fit this black line with the inner line of your tessellation so after putting it accordingly so then you can use the masking tape here to fix the image. So please take the four corners of it. Okay. See? then you can start the inking part so what you have to do is choose the color that you like and then come to the teacher's desk Miss Anne will help you to put the color on your palette so the amount that we need is not that much properly one spoon is already more than enough so if you want to reveal you can come to the teacher's desk and ask me to reveal it for you so the other materials you need is the brush so I would suggest you use the uh, medium size of your brush and then uh, no matter it's a flat top or the tip top is also good enough so for me because I want it to be quicker so I use the bigger one with the flat top here and then for this ink you don't need to add any water into it so just take the amount that you need and then paint it on the top of your tessellation so when you are painting on the top just make sure that all the ink should be filled up into the area that is without the PVC the plastic So usually I will check up the edge and the corner part of your tessellation. Uh, for example, this, those corner part is it a bit difficult for the ink to penetrate in, into it. So I have to check it again to see whether they are already painted completely. So actually this ink can dry quite quickly so it will take about three to five minutes to for it to dry it up so but make sure that one thing is for the layer that you apply on the top don't make it too thick just enough will be fine so afterward you can carefully tear up the masking tape to take a look of the result so 
So for this part, I would suggest you to just tear out a little bit to look at the result. If you found that there's still some area that is not perfectly with, with the ink on, you can replace it again and ink it again, okay? So because of time, I won't ink it and the result is quite significant here, then I just remove my fabric. Okay, so for the next part, so you will see um, the fiber is full of the ink, so I have to clean it before I move on to the next step. So what I have to do is get the recycled paper here. There's lots of recycled paper on the basket, later on you can get it. And then you have a bucket of water and a sponge. So get some water and then squeeze the extra water out and then just clean the fabric. So the reason is if you don't clean if you don't clean it, the ink will stuck inside the holes and then the next the result will won't be that good afterward. So usually I would clean both sides a bit. Just make sure those holes, they are clear to end the second layer. Okay? And then how to dry it? So, just use those recycled paper. Okay. And then you can remove the plastic tape. Later on you can use it again. And then just dry it. Again, you can rub it with your hand. Then your fiber is dry again. Then you can use it to print on the second one.